crazy. Woohoo! <laughs> So today we're going to be leaving New Delhi and heading our way towards Agra but we're going to go via first class on a train here in India. It's the first time we've ever been on a train that moves and the first time we're going to be in first class. <laughs> so we're right here at the Indian railway station to take us there. And it's also our first time in Agra so a hat trick on the first. <laughs> this is crazy in front of us. So we are slightly late, they told us to be here an hour before the train leaves. It's currently half an hour before the train leaves. We have booked our tickets on 12 go, so we hope there's no problem. Hi, how are you? Um, I have ticket to Agra. Where do I check it? Yeah, platform number. Sorry? Platform number. Platform number, platform number. Platform number? Wait. Oh, okay, thank you. So we found these people right in front of the station and I've given them my 12 go ticket. So he's just going to give me my platform number. Six number platform. Six platform, eh? Uh, your coach, coach number where? Coach number C9, C10. Coach number C9, C10, platform six. Platform number six. Thank you so much, eh? Thank you. So in case you're booking through 12 go, go to this place with all the yellow signs. How do we get in now? I don't know. Oh my gosh, this is just chaos. But we have our coach numbers. Thank goodness. <laughs> C9 and C10 in first class. I'm actually quite curious as what first class is going to look like here in an Indian train. Absolutely chaos here. Yeah. Don't think it will be smooth sailing. Definitely arrive before time and don't leave it until last minute like we have. Okay, let's actually get on this train and I feel much better. Oh my gosh. Wow. People literally just push here the whole time. This is crazy. That's a word of advice. Don't travel India with Rolly bags. By the way, this is my new Rolly bag, so addition to the body moon is Delhi. <laughs> my other one broke, so it was time for a new one. So first order of business while we're here is to look for a new bag because well mine didn't even survive two countries. Alright, platform six. Check they're actually checking security over there, but you can walk this way and just skip it. We've just entirely skipped security. <laughs> There's no organization here. Or oh, platform one to seven straight. I'm so tired. H1, C9, and C10. Hi, man, how are you? I'm looking for these. If you could help me, please. H1, C9. Is it down there? That side. That side, eh? That side. Okay, I'll go try. Thank you. We still have 20 minutes to board this train. Yo, let's get some snacks. It's gonna be about a two and a half hour journey. So I'm sure we're gonna get pretty hungry and I'm not too sure if there will be snacks on board. And sure, it's already lunchtime and I'm hungry. And now after all that walking, I'm definitely gonna need some refreshments. I have some chips, some biscuits, maybe have some water and some cold drink. Let me take two of these. Hello. And a uh, cold Coca-Cola and a Snickers 160. Thank you. Thank you. All right, now that we have some snacks, let's go and actually find where we're supposed to sit in the train. There is no signs. My ticket says H1C9, coach position 22. But the train literally has no numbers. That is kind of all it shows. So I don't really know where to go at all. And there's no officials here as well. I don't even know which way this train is supposed to be going. But it looks like it's going for miles, so I don't know how far up this track we're gonna have to walk to find our cabin. They all got the same numbers, we need to find somebody. Hi, how are you? I'm looking for this. H1. H1, yes. Hi, thank you, man. H1, this course is this one. Okay. Is, is that way, eh? Yeah. Oh, way. Thank you so much, man. I appreciate it. Okay, we well, at least got some nice people helping us, so. There's a number that says S2. So I don't know if they've just kind of changed the letters. Okay, the letters have changed. There's B6. Worst case scenario, we just jump on the train and we go with it. <laughs> yeah, hopefully we just won't get left behind. Okay, yeah, H1, we found it. <laughs> Finally, getting on here. Which cabin are we in? C9 and C10. A, B, C. Ah, thank you. <laughs> Can see that we're first timers to this and have absolutely no idea what we're doing. But after this, I think we'll know pretty well what to do on the next train. So this is a little bit of the train, what you can see so far. Hi. Oh. H1. What's this? C9 and 10. Hey guys. We have some friends with us, but this looks great. 
Hi guys, how are you? Yeah, good. Um, what are you guys, C9 and 10? We have our tickets here and we're in this carriage, but we just assume we're in, so you could be on your own. Oh, uh, okay. Where did you get the number from, C9 and 10? Um, they actually printed it out for us there in front. Oh, so there's a good chance you're going to be on your own here, but... I don't know, that's what I'm just trying to figure out. <laughs> Let's give you a quick idea of what the train looks like before we actually leave. Check, there's so many cabins here. There's so many empty ones here. Here's another empty one. And here's empty ones. So seeing that we're sharing a cabin with somebody, I think that if the train leaves and there's nobody in these areas, we're gonna take them. Oh my gosh, so we had to move back into our cabin after we've moved cabins now three times. <laughs> this is the one that we booked, so we should be fine here, but there's kind of a bit of confusion with everybody because not everybody has gotten uh, assigned cabins, which doesn't make sense, but yeah, at least we've got a cabin now. And we're leaving. <laughs> Agra, here we come. The doors are actually open while the train is starting to move. This is so exciting. First time traveling by train. Goodbye Delhi and we'll oh see you God. in Agra. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if this is quite safe to be hanging outside the door. Like, Probably check. <laughs> There's no safety measures on these trains, so it's going to be an experience. This is wild. We are now crossing the Delhi River. <laughs> Not really a Delhi River, but we're right underneath the road. Is this the drain of Delhi? Eh? Yeah, yeah. I can see it, it looks like a drain. <laughs> <laughs> the Yamuna River is too polluted. It's very polluted, very eh? Polluted. <laughs> What is that? What is that? Bed sheet. Eh? Bed sheets? Bed sheets. Bed sheets. Ah, oh, okay. okay. And thank pillow you. and blanket. Blanket, pillows. Ah, thank you. Thank you very much. Oh. Well, we've gotten some bed sheets, pillows, and blankets to put on the the seats that we're sitting on now. But it's not like we're going to actually be sleeping here. It's only like a two and a half hour train. But I guess if you wanted to, it's got everything for you. So I think on that note, we should actually give you a tour of what our room looks like. So this is actually a little window in the door that can look out that way. But this is our room. We have a bed at the bottom that Danny's actually like sitting on. So it becomes a seat in the day. And then there's a bed up at the top here as well where a second person could sleep if they wanted to. But we've kind of just used this as like a storage area. And then we've packed our rolly bags here underneath the bed here. So there's definitely a lot of space for all your luggage. And then we have a cupboard over here that you can put some stuff in. Let's actually have a look inside the cupboard. Yeah. So if you've got to hang something that you don't want to crease, you can actually hang it up there. Is this a coat or cupboard, yeah? There's one on this side of the cupboard and on this oh. side of the cupboard. You have a rack over here, a mirror over there, and a table over here. So we can actually eat off something. Yeah. And then to my left, we actually have a window, which we can close in case we want to sleep. But at least we have a view of the outside. And another thing that they have in the room is a fan. So you can switch the fan on and then you'll actually have some air in here. There we go. But yeah, a super, super cozy room. It looks over here that they even have a plug point. So if you need to charge something while you're on the train, you can. It's comfortable. Yeah, it's very comfortable. Over here, I'm actually seeing that they have a, like a bell sign. So I wonder if we press this, if somebody comes. I guess we'll have to wait and see. I don't notice any lights that have come on. So um, wait, was, that, was that blue light on before? Let me push it again. Oh snap. They also have two switches here called BL and NL. Oh, oh these are just lights. No, this is the blue light. Oh, okay. That's the blue light. And this BL light. Oh, that's just a light over here. There, that's that light. I don't think the alarm one actually really works because there's not service on this train. They're just providing you with small things like blankets and sheets and food, which you can buy for 130 Indian rupiah per person. Um, they're going to give you some rice and curry and some naan bread, but we just bought our snacks, so we thought we're not going to have any of that. And we'll maybe go out into Agro once we're there, 
and see if we can try something. But yeah, that is our room. Super cozy, super clean. Very impressed with the inside of the train. Mm. Was a struggle to get on, but now that we're here, it's good. I actually noticed this red light. Oh, it says attendant. So this red light goes on by pressing that bell. Press that bell again and let's see if it goes off. No, but if I press it, now I'll press it again. Yes. So these lights are all in the doorway. So that in case you need some help from somebody, they can see that your room is the one that needs help. So right near our cabin, so our cabins are down here. We can come here and then this is the toilet. So if you open here, we can go into the toilet. Ah, oh, it's actually pretty clean. Minus some water on the floor over there, but it's got a basin with some running water. It's got a mirror, ah, oh, some toilet paper, and then it's actually got a fan over here as well, and a bum gun, and the toilet. We actually brought our own toilet paper because I didn't think there would actually be toilet paper in this train. But yeah, I give this toilet situation a thumbs up. I thought that it would also be quite smelly, but it's not, it smells really good. Seeing as this is only a two and a half hour journey, I don't actually plan on using the bathroom, but if you wanted to, it's pretty neat. The bathrooms are actually pretty good. Really? Pretty neat, I'm impressed. Not too shabby. And they have toilet paper. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> That's a win. So if you're looking to book a first class train from Delhi to Agra, I suggest train number 12191. That's the one we're in. Time to try some Indian snacks. So we got some cream and onion chips. Yeah, they're called Bakaji chips. chips and this is a mast masala. That should be a little bit spicy, I'm sure. Let's give it a try. First time we're actually trying some Indian chips. <laughs> they really seal these bags, don't they? Just open them like that, darling. That is definitely not a lot of chips in there. Like, the packet's this big and the chips stop here. So yeah. all this is chips. We might have to see if there's something else we can eat on the trip. Yeah, maybe we should have ordered the lunch, the rice and curry with naan. Cheers. Chips. Chip cheers. Chip cheers. Mm. Mm. Definitely has a masala spice. It tastes more like a savory piece of meat. Oh, is it? Mine tastes like normal cream and onion chips. So it's good. Mm. Mine hits your throat. <coughs> they look spicy. Thank you, India, but I don't think I'll be buying these ones again. <laughs> Our train has stopped and we don't seem to be by a train station and people are climbing out just to take a pee. Oh, buddy, you better hurry. <laughs> Check. I think that was my opportunity as well. There are bathrooms on the train, so I don't know why you really need to do that. Hi. Okay, no problem. This is not allowed. Okay, I won't do that. <laughs> From South Africa? South Africa. Yes, yes. Sorry? ABD Village, yes. And Ashim Amla. Namaste is equal to Ram Ram. Okay, Ram -ram. equal to Ram Ram. Yeah, yes. Okay. Desi Jat. <laughs> Desi Jat. Desi Jat. Desi <laughs> Jat. Thank you. That was basically one of the officials on the train and he was just speaking to me the whole time. I thought I was in trouble for kind of chilling outside the train but after a while he, he was quite nice <laughs> and he's teaching me a whole bunch of words so I've learned Jot and Ram Ram. The train is slowing down and the next stop is Agra so I think this is where we're getting off. The train said they were going to arrive at Agra at quarter to five and guess what the time is? It is literally 16.46. Pretty accurate. If it's anything like the last station um, I think they're only going to be stopping for like two minutes so We'd rather be ready and waiting yeah. than miss our stop completely. We haven't even stopped and the doors open for us to get out. <laughs> this one looks just as crazy as what it was like in Delhi. Jesse, do we have to get out like that too? That oak just jumped out. Do you think we have to do that too? No, I hope it stops. Are you ready? Are you ready? <laughs> we are jumping out, baby. Let's do it the real Indian way. Get out while it's moving. Woo! 
There we go. You almost failed here. Yeah. <laughs> that I would did. have been hilarious. Almost fell, but finally we are in Agra, the place that is home to the Taj Mahal. Do you even know where to go? No idea. Neither do I. So many decorations on the wall here. This kind of feels like an airport station, to be honest. We've got food here on the side. So many different foods. And I'm sure our exit is down there where we will find a prepaid taxi. Apparently, Agra used to be the capital of India before it changed to Delhi. So I can imagine this city is going to be packed and full of adventure like Delhi was. Yeah, there, exit. Exit. I guess we just walk out of the train station. Nobody's really leading us, we're just following the exit sign, so it's not like you need to check out. Man, that thing's loud. <laughs> so I guess we're just looking for prepaid taxi. Thank you so much, man. Thank you, hey. So that guy was helping us. He knew we were going to stop here in Agra. So the minute we were here, he actually came to our cabin and told us we're here, we can get off. So he was super nice. Oh, I'm a prepaid taxi driver. You're a prepaid taxi driver, yes, sir, hey? Yes. Um, how much is it to close to the Taj Mahal? Which, which hotel? JSP Yoga Homestay. You know that place? The Eastern Gate. Eastern side, yeah, maybe yeah, two kilometers from Taj Mahal. Yeah, is there. Yeah, how much roughly? Roughly, so my pet taxi price 310 rupees. 310 rupees prepaid, eh? Nice. So, just a quick travel hack. When taking a taxi, always just check on Uber how much it costs. So then you know if you're getting ripped off or not. That guy was charging us double the price of an Uber, so we've decided to call an Uber instead. But we got to walk a little bit out of the station to get there, and it's crazy. Daily vibes all over again. <laughs> oh, it stinks here. Oh, it's... Chaos. Oh. Wow. Wow, it does not smell too good here in these areas where all the taxis are waiting. Oh my gosh, you have to like cut into the road. Oh, no, we got, thank you. <laughs> Check, he has a cow right here in the road. Oh no, it's crazy. Okay, just follow the cow. Just follow the cow. I'll lead the way. Thank you, buddy. Move. Normally, there's a cow in the road. Oh, why is our Uber all the way here? There's a white Suzuki. I think that's our Uber. Oh, yeah, we have another cow. Wow. Welcome to Agra. Yeah, is this a UPA? No, it's not. If they don't come, then I will take you. You give me just 100 rupees, both of you. No, it's fine. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Wow, that was a mission to find this guy. He actually drove all the way back there while we were here. And then when we were walking that way, he was driving back this side. <laughs> oh, the Uber updates are delayed. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Struggle to find me, hey? <laughs> I man. think that was more of a mission than climbing on the train. Yo, it is crazy. <laughs> There's so maybe, many people here. Maybe paying double the price is a little bit worth it. <laughs> and you don't have to scramble through this chaos. <laughs> or if we just stayed there and didn't walk. Yeah. But might I mean, have the, been better as well. The Uber's location showed there, and only once we're there did it refresh it and put him somewhere else. It's not like keeping it live. So it's a little bit of a nightmare to actually find them. But we're oh, here. We're here. And we've arrived at our hotel. Let's see what a hotel in Agra looks like. Hello, how are you? Fine. I'm good, 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 thank you. <laughs> so a lot of the accommodations that we've been booking at, we've actually decided to use the cash option so that we can actually check out the room first before we actually pay for it and make sure it's 100% what we want. So we're just gonna go and have a look at the rooms now. But this place has good reviews on bookings.com, so I'm sure it will be good. 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 Okay, thank you. <laughs> so we got this room for $20 a night, and it's literally two kilometers away from the Taj Mahal. It is super cozy. As you can see, we have our bed over here and cupboards and a good bathroom. The only downfall is that we actually don't have a window but we're literally gonna be here for two nights and most of the time we're gonna be out in the day so that really doesn't matter so we asked the people where a good restaurant is in order to eat something here because we are starving and they named a the place called royal what i don't know i don't know we'll see it now but we're just on our way there just to go and have some food 
and taste some food here in Agra. The only thing that we have eaten today is a little bit of breakfast before we left and then the snacks that we had on the train, so we are yeah. starving. We have a really bad tendency to go out during the day <laughs> and just completely forget about lunch because <laughs> things are always just so fast. <laughs> There's so much happening around you that the last thing you're realizing is to eat and yeah. then when the chaos stops then you like realize oh actually i'm hungry yeah <laughs> and this is where we're going to be eating at the royal dining restaurant it has over 700 reviews so i'm sure it's going to be good thank, thank you. you thank you <laughs> we're the first customer <laughs> we're the first customer <laughs> look how nice these tables are thank you i'll come sit next to you otherwise i'm so far yeah <laughs> ah thank you so much thank you this looks lovely <laughs> thank you that looks absolutely delicious. So we've ordered a buna gush masala, which is like a roasted lamb masala. And we've got some butter naan and some rice. Mm. All the food here in India so far has been amazing. And this does not disappoint either. It's got a nice spiciness to it. Again, we asked them not to make it too spicy, but this is delicious. We've also got some naan bread once again and some rice to mix with this amazing lamb. Food here is so, so good. But tomorrow we're going to go and explore what Agra has to offer. And we're also going to go and see the Taj Mahal. I mean, this is a massive, massive thing as the Taj Mahal is probably something you've always heard of since you were a child. So we are super excited to go and see that. But we'll see you guys in the next video.